TG1701 is a, a, an interesting uh, molecule. It's a, it's a BTK inhibitor, which is a covalent um, BTK inhibitor. Um, like other second-generation BTK inhibitors like acalabrutinib, azanabrutinib, it appears to have selectivity for BTK versus other uh, kinases like TEC and um, ITK, and as a consequence um, can be expected to have a cleaner profile with less off-target kinase inhibition and probably a, a, a favorable toxicity profile relative to the first-in-class agent of um, This The trial design of this was, a uh, again, a parallel dose escalation study. We did a monotherapy study with uh, TG1701, doses ranging from 100 to 400 milligrams daily. We also did, in parallel with that, a, a triplet combination study with um, umbralisib, which is a PR3 kinase delta and, and C1K epsilon uh, inhibitor, in, in addition to uh, umbralisib, which is a um, anti-CD20 monoclonal antibody. So the uh, study included patients with both. The study included patients with both uh, a range of different B cell malignancies. Um, the TG1701 monotherapy cohort. Um, uh, included, um, we've we actually treated quite a few number, quite a, quite a large number of patients now. Um, in the TG1701 monotherapy study, um, it's been mostly patients with typical BTK inhibitor populations such as CLL, mantle cell lymphoma, and small lymphocytic lymphoma. Um, patients with um, other histologies like follicular and large cell have been a relative minority. We've had two main um, populations which have been assessed, um, the triple combination as well, and um, we've seen slightly more efficacy in the triple combination when all three agents were combined with an objective response rate of 79% and a complete response rate of 21%, particularly among patients with follicular lymphoma. In the, the, there was a number of disease-specific cohorts in this study in the monotherapy, and, and patients with um, previously treatment-naive CLL mantle cell and Waldenstrom macroglobulinemia were permitted, provided they were um, unsuitable for chemoimmunotherapy. We've seen pretty encouraging response rates in those subtypes, 95% um, of CLL patients, 65% of mantle cell lymphoma patients, and 95% of Waldenstrom macroglobulinemia patients. No unexpected um, toxicity signals in the monotherapy cohort. Um, the, uh, the adverse events have been mostly what you would expect from a, from a BTK inhibitor, and notably not much in the way of atrial fibrillation. The bruising rate's been pretty low, uh, mostly uh, grade one, two, about 28%. Um, and uh, generally well tolerated. We, we have seen a few grade three um, adverse events, but on the whole, um, this, this is a pretty well tolerated combination with uh, a median follow up in the study overall of 15.6 months. So, in summary, it's, it's a pretty well tolerated drug, both as monotherapy and in combination with the PR3 kinase inhibitor and CD20. Um, enrollment continues, and we're planning a, a phase three study in, in patients with relapsed and refractory B cell malignancies.